You'd think the vlog squad has been in enough trouble over the years, but now people are calling them out for constantly being on the TikTok for you page. Users of the app seem fed up by their constant presence as they're scrolling and they've been getting a lot of backlash over this new community they've all decided to be a part of. I recently talked about the fact that the vlog squad has been taking over on TikTok. Much like Jeffree Star, they've joined this community where they battle out for gifts on live. And nearly every time I go on TikTok, one of them is on my For You page battling it out. Jason had previously said that doing this had been the reason that he'd been able to stay in his house and that without TikTok, he'd be in some trouble. But despite the fact that this is something that has put money in his wallet, People aren't loving it, and it's been a big topic of conversation on TikTok as people are literally begging Jason to get off of their For You page. For the love of God, will somebody just write Jason Nash a giant check so he will stop begging for money on TikTok Live every single day? Every day, I'm just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Jason Nash is like, come on, guys, we're almost there. Let's get another diamond on the board. Dude, aren't you like 50 years old? Like, get off the internet. Get off the internet, bro. Pull your social security. Take a nap. I don't know. Go play golf or something. Hey, guys. Yep, tap that screen, guys. Come on, tap that screen. Where's David? David's actually not, not here right now. Come on, guys. We need something bigger than that. We need a dino. How old? I'm 74, guys. I'm 74. Yeah, come on, guys. I'm edging. We're almost there. Come on, one more. Come on, done. I can't escape Jason Nash and like the vlog squad doing battles on here. Imagine hearing that sentence in 2018. What? They're like, yo, yo. There's no way you. 150 people in the live. Let's flip it. Go. Jason even ended up addressing some of the backlash that he's been getting recently, making it known that he's fully aware people don't all love that he has been on live, but he's continuing it anyway. I'm new to TikTok live and I'll be on there every day in December. I start at 11 a.m. every day. Some people love that I'm on TikTok all the time and some people hate that I'm on TikTok all the time. So more lovers and less haters, please. Now, Jason isn't the only one that has been going live. Nick, also known as Jonah, Susie, their mom, and brother Vardon all go live as well. Joe has been seen on live, and Jason's fiance does it as well. They've got this whole battling squad on here, and Jason isn't the only one with haters either. Trolls have been coming for literally every single one of them as they've been on stream, and it's clearly been frustrating to them. Oh, what? You can't, can't afford wife internet now. Yo, no, 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 there's no. Oh my god, wait, no, 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 no. Oh my god, this guy is, oh my god, this guy, this guy Pitchfork, he's out for me, bro. I swear he is, bro. You guys don't understand. I'm back. Yo, you are, oh my god. This guy is, bro, this guy hate, has hatred towards me. I swear he does. He, this guy comments like the most crucial things. Like, it's vile, bro. Even people that they're friends with have poked fun at them for doing these lives. Alex Ernst, who used to be a big part of the vlog squad, but now he mostly keeps to himself. He is still friendly with David as he was seen at David's birthday party earlier this year, but content wise, he isn't relying on the vlog squad to keep things going for himself. But he did take the opportunity to make fun of the ones that have been going live on TikTok in a recent video that he posted onto his YouTube channel. He was basically installing some steps outside of his house in this video. It was a big project. And in the middle of it all, he talked about having a job and this is what kind of shade he threw at those that are on TikTok. It's the next day I put the steps in last night. You couldn't see them. And uh, well, it's one o'clock in the afternoon right now. Yeah. So I would have continued this vlog a lot earlier if I didn't have a job. Yeah, some of us have jobs. Some of us work for a living. I'm gonna be live on this app all day today, guys. And Warner, let's go! Yes! Send me another galaxy. Send me three uh, galaxy gifts, and I'll take my shirt off for three seconds, guys. Come on. Send me some gifts. I need some gifts. Come on. Guys, send me some gifts. Seriously. I just can't believe that they're doing it every single day and for what seems like every hour of the day. I mean, I'm sure that's quite literally the only way to make money is to constantly be doing it, but it's just crazy to see them always on the for you page like they're just always on there and so loud like let's go let's go come on now we have like one minute left we want to win this round like it is just i mean a whole different world and i wonder like how much they're even making and who is just 
constantly the ones that are giving them money every single day because it's not like a once a week thing you know it's not like they go live once a week or they go live once a month i could see whatever fans they have left you know giving them money or something like that but for these people to give them money every single day i mean that's a lot right like that's a lot and obviously they aren't the only ones to be doing this it's a whole community on tiktok but it still is just such a crazy part of the internet to me, like flat out battling for gifts, which is literally just saying, please send me money. And it's not even like they really like do anything on the lives. They just ask people for gifts. That's that's like the, the crazy part in my mind. Ethan Klein also recently reacted to this whole TikTok world of battling and the vlog squad being a part of this community. And he found the whole thing really sad. You, David put these people through so much with the hopes of his fame rubbing off on them. And it, sh it surprises even me how little people care about all the satellite characters in his world. Like even Jason Nash is kind of struggling to get He's doing NPC streams, dude. Yeah, yeah. He's not like, doing great. I, I, don't, I think even he's struggling to get like m moderate views. What well, is he doing? Let's see. Last time we checked, he was doing that like all day, every day. Is he live? Yeah, he's live right now. No, he's not. not. No, yeah. he is for not. Real? He's begging for money right now. Poor man. How many Guys, people are watching right now? We're gonna put that on merch. Uh, that one's real good. Oh, it's two hundred nine. Oh, two hundred ninety-five. Jason, man. That's too sad. I'm turning that off. He's on TikTok begging for money. That's sad. Well, he's just kind of kicking it, it seems like. I don't know if he's begging for money. Why is he alive all day, every day? No, he's doing the, like, game thing. He, he basically Yeah, the, like, competition money, yeah. thing. All right, who's going to give me the most money? That's the game. In Jason's recent podcast episode with his fiance, he talked a little bit more about his career this past year and how much has really changed for him over time. And his fiance is certainly supportive of him taking on this new TikTok venture, almost trying to hype him up for doing it and make him feel a little better about it. So yeah, it's been it's been a wild year. Would you say it was fun? I mean, every day is so fun with you. Yeah, but not with not me specifically, but did you have fun this year? Like you you started stand up again. You have TikTok live now, which is like as much work as it is, like yeah. being that high energy, yeah. I feel like you've gotten to meet cool people. Mm -hmm. um, you're trying something new, which sharpens your brain, no matter yeah. what it is. Yeah, and uh, it's just fun. There's confetti involved. Like <laughs> you can't be depressed when there's confetti. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Jason then talked about the fact that he really wouldn't be doing it if it weren't for TikTok directly working with him helping him get this started and he's just going to keep doing it for the time being but he doesn't know exactly how long that will be i think i think what's been nice about it is like um is tiktok's helped me yeah so the people at tiktok are helping me like figure it out and stuff yeah. and they've been like i don't know if i would have done it if i didn't have if i wasn't welcomed by them right you know i would have been because remember uh, jonah was trying to get me on there like three months ago yeah and um and i was kind of hesitant and then once I got on there and built enough, like a strong enough skin. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, it's been great. That's yeah. good. Yeah. And I don't know. Brandon asked me yesterday. He's like, how, how, how long are you going to do this for? Until it's not fun anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think that's with all the platforms. Yeah. Jason also talked about YouTube still being one of his favorite social media platforms he's been a part of. And nearly every single interview I've seen Jason do this year, he's always reminiscing on the days where the vlog squad made content together and driving around with David filming and coming up with jokes. And I mean, I'm sure he loved those days. That was their prime. And now none of that is happening for them because they're all sort of facing the consequences of those videos and what filming some of them did to people. And David leaving YouTube changed a lot for his friends. Some went off and succeeded in their own worlds and own platforms, but not all of them were able to stand without him. And it's certainly been crazy to see how this group has changed over the years and how the public has viewed them as well. But as of right now, that's the drama that they found themselves in where people are over the live streams and also what they've had to say in response to everything that everyone has been saying. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, my God.